Let's explore how you can use Brisk with Microsoft. I've already gone ahead and added the Brisk extension to Microsoft Edge. From there, I've opened my Word document straight from my OneDrive. I can now click Brisk and open up to see all of my options. Today, I'm going to go to Create. I want to create a resource for my students on cells. I'm going to click Create, and from there, you'll see all of the options. I do love that you can always create anything, so you can put in your own custom prompt. But even if you use these options here, you can be very specific with your prompts. Let's go ahead and select Resource. I've gone ahead and entered my prompt. From here, I can always attach standards, toggle between grade levels, and you'll also see that I can select Microsoft Word or Google Doc. I'm selecting Microsoft Word. You'll see down here I can also include sources. By selecting sources, it's going to let you know exactly where Brisk is pulling its information that it generates. Let's go ahead and Brisk it. Brisk is generating our resource, and we're also going to see that DOK questions will be added as well because I included that in my prompt. Brisk has finished generating, and you can see that from here I can always go make adjustments. I'm going to X out. And notice right up here at the top, I do have the option to add or save right to my OneDrive. If I select the dropdown, I can always export or download my file too. So you'll see that Brisk has generated its response. And what's beautiful here is that everything is fully customizable. You can use Brisk and Microsoft and really harness the power of the two together. I'm gonna go ahead now and just save this to my OneDrive and you'll see my folders will appear and I'm going to select my STEM folder and then hit select. My file is now a Microsoft Word document right in OneDrive. We can't wait to hear all about how you use Brisk with Microsoft and we hope you'll share that our way. If you have questions, let us know.